Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel where today we're going to be addressing the burning question, why are Cuban link chains so expensive? But before we do get into it, make sure you go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell icon so you always get notified when we post a brand new video for you. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So before we do get into some of the reasons, let's go ahead and learn a little bit of history about them, that way we can better understand it. Cuban link chains have become super popular in hip-hop culture, as well as high fashion jewelry. How it became popular was sort of unclear. Wide use of the Cuban links probably started in the 1970s with the Jamaican-American DJ Cool Herc, who is credited for introducing hip-hop music to the Bronx in New York City. DJ Cool Herc hosted block parties where he played hip-hop records. These parties were known for their music, but also fashionable attendees, who favored Cuban link jewelry. Cuban link jewelry continued to trend into the disco era and rising nightlife scene in the 80s. But what makes these Cuban link chains inviting and why is it so popular? Make sure you continue watching as we identify some of these reasons. Number 1. It is gold. If it's not gold, it's not an original Cuban link chain. Cuban link chains are made from gold, and all of it is offered in real gold. Nothing in this category is plated. Sizes range from 16 inches to 44 inches. And because they are solid gold, Cuban link chains are good as an investment making a rise in its price almost every year. Number 2. It is a work of art. It's made from the expert sweat and mastery. A Cuban link chain is a work of art and making them requires long practice and mastery of molding, cutting, and linking them into chains. Like other jewelry, pieces of gold are collected and with other metals like nickel and silver, they are melted at very high temperatures before forming a solid bar of gold. The process can take longer compared to other jewelry because of its sturdy and sleek design. But how is it done? After it's formed into a bar, it needs to be annealed, which is to be stretched as long as possible as a stick. And in order to do this, the gold must be kept warm until it reaches the desired length. The stretched gold is then formed like a cord to form circles. These circles are cut one by one. After the circles are cut, the linking begins. But it is not as easy as you think it is. Linking them is where the real skills are required. Not that other previous procedures like cutting don't require skills, but in order to link them together they are soldered properly and carefully. One mistake would mean repeating this process from top to bottom, and they are soldered and after being soldered the link chains must be aligned by twisting them back and forth. Of course they must be kept moldable so you need to constantly heat them to the right temperature that allows molding and shaping or stretching. But it isn't finished yet. Once they are aligned, the link chains must be flattened to the desired thickness. Once again, after the chains are linked and flattened, the remaining gaps must be filled and smoothed. The final stage is closing the link and then done. That's pretty much it. But it's very complicated at the same time. But our third reason is the fact that it is a product designed with sweat and loads of patience. It can be as simple as explaining how this high fashion jewelry is designed. But in reality, this work of art is also worth every craftsman's sweat and strength. Making one Cuban link chain takes an average of 10 to 12 hours. It doesn't include diamonds and other extra designs added into it, that's just for a simple one. It may not be enough for just one man to finish it. Because of the complicated process of melting gold and keeping it in warm temperature to form it, it needs constant reheating and cooling and it is one tough job. Also, it must be kept away from other free radicals and in order to check its quality, it's weighed over every single process. And that leads us to our final reason. It is high fashion jewelry, meaning over time it has become a fashion item that represents status and wealth. It has stayed on the trend for decades, proving to be a timeless wardrobe staple. The design is very simple and clean and can be worn for any occasion from business attire to street attire. Cuban links are one of the sturdiest and sleekest link chains. Its interlocking features ensure durability and long lasting quality. There are actually two types, the Miami Cuban link and the prong links. It became extremely popular amongst the Cuban community living in Miami during the 1970s and 1980, which is where the Miami Cuban link originated. Once it was a status symbol among hip-hop artists and celebrities who, during its trend, wore large and heavy Cuban link chains, it's known for its bold and flashy look. As hip-hop culture becomes a trend and extends its influence up to today, so are Cuban link chains. Many rappers and hip-hop artists wear Cuban link chains. Famous celebrities who wear them include Jay-Z and DJ Khaled. But anyways guys, that was our video on why are Cuban link chains so expensive. Let us know your thoughts about Cuban link chains down in the comments below. 
If you guys did enjoy, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell icon so you always get notified when we post a brand new video for you. Anyways guys, that's all we have for you today. We're signing off for now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one. Peace.